so lovely to be home for a few days. Yeah, just had a swim. The beauty of the beaches in Kerry. <laughs> Private beach. Cathy's gone running to warm up after the swim. Luna wouldn't come in for a swim with us, but uh, God, what a magnificent day. So lovely to be home and lovely to have a break from the boat and be with family. So we're on Dunsheen Beach today in County Kerry, just outside Dingle. Beautiful beach and had a lovely swim. Well, I had one. <laughs> well, I paddled. <laughs> <laughs> Still a bit coolish, 15 degree, but it's not too bad actually. That's when good. you're in, you're in. Yeah, beautiful. Look at it here. Isn't it gorgeous? No one on the beach. Beautiful. Only the lovely catty. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Great time of the year. After a long winter. <laughs> Isn't it lovely to be out in a t-shirt and shorts again and swimming and spending time with Cathy, it's lovely. I do enjoy the boat, but uh, nice to have a break from the work and spend some lovely time relaxing. Everybody always laughs at my t-shirts and has a good laugh out of them when I was wearing the Marvel ones and stuff like that. So my brother Jim and my fan are big boy fans. So Jim bought me that, ground control to Major Tom. <laughs> Thanks Jim. So today I took delivery of, uh, you can see it behind me again, I've never had so much uh, deliveries, it's, it's, it's fantastic, everything's coming all at once which is mad but anyway it's brilliant. So Dubarry Ireland uh, have kindly sent me an order of uh, all my my uh, my boots, wet weather boots and all different, and a full line of uh, clothing then from the Aquatech, their new range, check it out. Magnificent. I'll show you now. I'm going to open in the box. Wow. That'll be nice for the sun. Oh yeah, I've already opened, sorry, the Ultimas. They're one of my favourites. And I've also got the Cross Havens, which would be excellent for really, really wet weather work. And I have them on. They're, like, they're really comfortable. Uh, they're Gore-Tex and, I mean, gee, uh, beautiful. Uh, I've opened some of these already. One of the, one of the things I love about Dubarry is, uh, I've told you all before, I love the environment and stuff like that, but there's no packaging. There's no, uh, some stuff I open, it's all styrofoam. and So this is really good. Now I have opened this already, a long sleeve, uh, my crew jacket. Quality is just beautiful, you know. And that's the, uh, the range of stuff was obviously designed by sailors because there's an extra seat in the pants, in the short pants, which as anyone knows, you're sitting in a cockpit long enough, you know, that's that's an added bonus. <clears throat> I haven't opened these yet. Oh boy. The weight of them. Lightweight and shock, shock, shock absorbent uh, impact soles. So I can't wait to so try them. I forgot them. to show you these, the Kingfishers. It's beautiful, really lightweight and uh, excellent grip on deck. This is the, the range, the Aquatech. So big thanks to Dubarry. Uh, the quality is brilliant. I, I love, I have the shoes on. <laughs> Make a little video on it. <laughs> All right, see you the next time. Come back the next time, we'll have more time. Okay. Right, thanks All very right. much. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a million. Hasta pronto. Right. Hasta pronto. Ah, hasta luego. Hasta luego. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a bit noisy because, believe it or not, I'm at sea. <laughs>
finally. I, uh, I left Kilrush this morning. Uh, very light winds, but uh, perfect to check everything. I was hoping for a bit more wind. So I'm heading down uh, the estuary uh, towards Loop Head. That's Carrigo Holt out there. Uh, my brother John and another friend of mine, Liam, in the UFO 34, and John and the Carter 34 are ahead of me. Uh, so I had two friends come with me through the lock, uh, Adrian and Sophia, so that was nice. Um, so, on the water. How lovely, oh my God. I, I, I did an awful lot of work on the rig yesterday. I wasn't happy with the furlers and just a few things. I was tweaking everything. And I said today, no matter what the weather is, I'm going out. And it, as it happened, Murphy's Law, there's a, there's a very light wind. But anyway, it's nice to check all the reef lines, check everything. So, happy days. Isn't that beautiful? You can see, uh, I love this part of, the, part of Ireland. You can see, I'll show you, Scattery Island. You can see the old round tower in Scattery Island, it's beautiful. Oh, you can feel the Atlantic swell. How lovely to be back. We're belting along at seven knots. Effortless, effort, effortless. Powering along as well, and Carter, Carter 34, and his friend Tony, Tony Carmody there, Commodore, Commodore Carmody, <laughs> and my friend Liam in his UFO 34. We're all powering along. Am I happy with the new sail? Struggling with the word effortless. Effortless, effortlessly, yeah. We're sailing along effortless. Effort. God, the more I say it, the more strange it sounds. Effortlessly, effortlessly. <laughs> What a beautiful day. Going back up against the tide and uh, still doing seven knots. So, I mean, the sail shape, everything is just beautiful. Couldn't be happier with the sails from Ronnie Tasker. They just, they do exactly what they're meant to do. Beautiful. Well, she's a beautiful boat as well, but the, the sails are, are, I'm just thrilled with them. I'm thrilled. And I'm glad I took my time with all the tweaking and getting the furlers right and I had a great help from a friend of mine, Paddy O'Connor. So thank you, Paddy, for helping me with the rigging. Ah, all, all the hard work has worked it. Beautiful. It really is. Just anchored for the night in uh, Carrigo Holt. Beautiful place. And the only boat here. Probably castle inside. Oh God, it's so lovely to be back at sea. And lovely to have a stack pack. You just zip up the mainsail, I love that. Here's my brother John. Coming in in his boat, Apache. Anchor for the evening. And he's got a kayak, so we might go ashore on the kayak. So people ask me, 
Why, why do I do this? Why do I uh, work so hard at getting the boat ready? Why do I want to go sailing around the world? Today, when I was sailing, I'm just so happy. That's, that's, that's what I want to do. So all that hard work I'm doing and the time alone and all that, it's, it's all worth it because that's, that's what I love. That's what I love to do. I had, I had the best day today. Uh, just checking everything and I just love being on the water. I'm just, I'm at home on the water. I love it. And uh, I just had a nice dinner and just to feel the boat moving again. And oh, it's just, I just had the best day. And there's, John is just anchored now behind me there and he call over now and we get the kettle on and <laughs> he's happy out too. That's his new boat as well. So that was his first day sailing her. So Ma magic day, magic day altogether. Well, I think it's easy to tell that I'm a, a very happy camper today. Everything went well. Everything went 100% uh, like I hoped it would. I was a, not apprehensive, but, but yeah, I just wanted to make double check everything. And I did, and it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Waxwing is happy out. She loves her new clothes, her new sails, you know. Um, I'm happy out. Uh, so there's going to be lots more sailing videos from now on. I still have quite a lot of fitting to do. Uh, just equipment bolted in, bolted out, you know. Uh, I still fundraising, I'm still trying to raise money, still trying to get sponsorships, so I still have a good bit of that to do. But from now on, there'll be more sailing and more sailing videos. Uh, um, and, and most likely. And most likely in. in uh, I should listen to that actually. <laughs> and in heavy. Heavy weather, it won't be all just little spins like today, and you know. So, this there should be some good uh, heavy weather footage. I'm, I'm probably going to go to sea for a week, just go straight west, go straight out uh, for for uh, days and nights, and uh, co cover a good bit of, of, of mileage str straight out to, out to the Atlantic and back. And uh, I'll probably hit probably all different types of weather and wave conditions, so it's important to do that as well and double check that you know everything is stored and I've everything in the right places and you know I need to do a good a good bit of uh, a lot of sea trials so that should be worth watching and it should be more interesting than me just uh, <laughs> screwing things onto the wall and stuff so anyway so thanks for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't and if you have thank you very much and I wish you all a wonderful weekend and uh, thanks for watching all right bye bye mm -hmm.